All I have in this world is my balls and my word, and I don't break them for no one. Do you understand? Radio Legends, Chaos Chronicles, we are back with another video. So legitimately, I have tried to make this video about six or seven times right now, and it always gets to like the five or six minute mark, and I keep, I must have a bug or something on my computer. I know nothing about these things, I must say. But anyway, as promised, I do have, um, I am going to let you guys know what's going on with my case, as I believe 100% there is corruption going on. And I just want to get a bit of an opinion on what you guys think, and yeah, I suppose just let me go, let me know what you guys think. So, I think um, first it's it's best to to start off and and let you guys know what's going on. So, I have got criminal proceedings going on at the moment. So before this stuff happened, I had been crime free for for two or three years, and. So somebody um, has handed in a silencer to the police, so a real silencer, not a homemade one, and they have said that it is mine. And um, so a bit of a bit of context to the story, this was not found at my house, this was not found in my person, this was not found in my car, this is somebody has taken this into the police station and said that it was mine. So for starters, that's absolutely bonkers that somebody can just walk into a police station and say, oh, yeah, this is so-and-so's, and then they're going to get charged for it. I think that's absolutely bullshit. There's nothing tying me to this thing. So obviously when I got charged with it, I was like, so obviously you've tested this thing for my DNA and fingerprints, and they were like, yeah, well, it come back negative on both. So as I knew it would. But anyway, like I need to like let you guys know that because of my criminal record, I I am an SVO, which is a serious violent offender, and and because of that title, I no longer get little sentences or or will be doing small sentences or or anything like that. So, um, you know, also a little bit of context: my last sentence was nine years and um yeah so we're also trying to argue that they're trying to say that i was given a firearms prohibition order which is called an fpo which i definitely wasn't but they're trying to argue the fact that i definitely was and they literally raided my house like four times in the one week and every time they came there they said that they didn't need a warrant because i was on an fpo and i 100 percent am not um, the police can't put you on an FBO. That is something that the court has to do. The judge has to put you on a firearms prohibition order. And yes, I've had firearms charges in the past, but that FPO thing was not around when I got my last firearms charge. And so I 100% am not an FPO. But anyway, you know, they went hard as and, and trying to get me and, and I suppose they did. I got charged with it. But it's up for me now to to try and plead my case, and and that's that's what I'm trying to do now. And so, you know, we we also we're in the magistrates court at the moment, and we're trying to keep it in the magistrates court, and so it doesn't go to the county court. Once it goes to the county court, they can give you a sentence over four years. Whereas if it stays in the magistrate's court, four years is their maximum. They can't go over four years. And you guys are probably thinking that's absolutely crazy that you would get that long for somebody handing in a silencer. And the, tr the truth is, you know, I'll, if I do go down on this, I would probably get more, I think. But, you know, hopefully, well, we'll just see what happens. But you know, that is what's going on and I am fighting that in the magistrate's court at the moment. And so um, I guess I need to, to let you guys know what's going on with my corruption. So I, I believe that this is the corruption. So every single town that has court has a duty solicitor. So these are solicitors that sit there all day and act on behalf of people that don't have legal representation. So these people will go into court for the, for the people and say that, oh, my client doesn't have a solicitor today, I'm acting on his behalf, blah, blah, blah. That's what they do. So this guy was an acting solicitor in my town and, and did, did act on my behalf, my brother's behalf, my dad's behalf, like all of us, you know. So anyway, fast forward a couple of years, this guy is now a sitting judge 
and wouldn't you know it that this guy is actually the sitting judge in my case. Now, also, I will let you guys know that when I was younger, I was with my partner at the time. We had a relationship. My son passed away. And so um, my partner at the time, she used to work for this solicitor and her mum was also the solicitor's um, like office lady. Do you know what I mean? So I, ha- I had a fairly close connection with this solicitor you know my partner at the time worked for him and my his her partner's mum worked for this solicitor as well and so yeah fast forward a little bit unfortunately my son passed away i don't want to talk about that now but what i'm saying is you know about five or six seats away from me at my son's funeral was this solicitor he was a solicitor at the time, so he, he has actually mourned the, the loss of my son with me and and now this guy is a sitting judge. Now, I've tried to bring it up and it would be in court transcripts, which anyone can have a look. Like, he has asked me about my mum. He asked me about my ex-girlfriend. We spoke about my son that passed away. We spoke about him being at my son's funeral. So this is all legal tender. Anyone can go in and look this stuff up. And um, obviously not now. It's still an ongoing court case. But when it's finished, anyone can read this. It's freedom of information. And so, like, I literally was talking about this in court. So when I do say this, that this is a conflict of interest like it is, that 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 I would have evidence to back me up. And so this 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 judge has literally asked me about my ex-girlfriend, my brother, you know what I mean? So I believe that there is a conflict of interest and I honestly believe that this judge is going to hang me and, and he absolutely hates me. And so, you know, I had differences with my partner at the time and, you know, this guy somewhat got involved at the time and so I have... I have like things that have happened in the past, you know what I mean? We have gone through personal grievances together and I absolutely think that this guy is going to hang me and and he's absolutely going to give me the maximum amount of time he can. And I just want you guys to know what, what you guys think. So this guy, like keep in mind, like I was looking at this guy at my son's funeral. So he was like sitting not so far away from me, mourning the death of my son with me. You know, I have personal doings with him. My my dad has personal doings with him. My my brother has personal doings with him. And yeah, I 100% believe it's a conflict of interest. If anything is a conflict of interest in our court of law, that is 100% it. And so like, I'm just letting you guys know, like, the Herald Sun is very interested in this story. Do you know what I mean? But I also don't want to get myself in any trouble, but I'm also at the spot right now where if I'm looking at doing four years and over for something I didn't even do, well, mate, I'm I'm not going to let the police know about it, but I'll tell the Herald Sun, don't you worry about that, and I will get my story out there and make sure that for once in my fucking life, that I get a fair court case and I'm actually dealt with the way that any normal person in society would be dealt with, not dealt with someone who's like, you know, they hate me because of, of, of my previous criminal history. And I believe that I've been doing my utmost best to, to, to stay out of trouble. And I absolutely have until this bullshit had happened. And now I'm back in the mix again. And, and it makes me look horrible. And don't forget, guys, not so long ago, the actual Herald Sun done an article on me and how well I'd done to change my life. And so people actually recognize it, that, that I'm making efforts to make a change in my life but anyway that's what i've got going on and please i want everyone to jump in the comment section and let me know what you think is this a conflict of interest i absolutely think it is but i want you guys to let me know what you think all right guys well that is the end and also i will chuck in this um so if you can also jump up there and shoot me a subscribe, that would be awesome. I was going to say something else then, but I'm not. Can you jump up there and shoot me a subscribe? Um, hit that bell. That way you'll never miss any of my stories. And so this one is going to be an ongoing story. So make sure you jump up there and shoot me a subscribe so you know what's going on. And, uh, yeah, I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Chaos Chronicles. I am also yeah. the guy decides if you and your friends walk out of here or not.